ladies and gentlemen, it's time for EA Sports to present to you UFC. It's time for EA to step back into the octagon. Well, I say back, it's EA working for the first time with the UFC on a title. The former publishers used to be THQ. THQ now bankrupt. And this is EA's first step into the world of MMA since EA MMA, which came out in like 2011, I think. Which was a fine game, but not as good as the THQ offerings. Maybe I was just spoilt, but here we are. We're about a one week away from the release of EA UFC. And here I am playing as uh, Gustafsson. And I'm getting my ass handed to me. So far, I've only been playing this game for about a total of about 45 minutes. And damn! Huge spinning kick. That's one of the things that I was going to bring up. Is that the game seems very into allowing you and the AI to drop heavy, heavy, heavy bombs like that on a consistent basis. I know THQ had the same kind of mechanic, but it wasn't that easy. And plus, in one of my fights with John Jones, I swear he did the cartwheel kick like three times in the first round, and it's just like so, so disorienting. Right here you can see the ground game, which is pretty much the same as THQ uh, UFC games where you use the right stick in like circles and to move and improve your game and whatnot but other than that I think most of the game is pretty much reminiscent of the THQ UFC titles except for the fact that the blocking is very much different and there goes John Jones he is out of it POW Wow look at that he goes for the axe kick Gustafson just nails him from the top, takes him down, bam, 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 he just crumples like no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow for him. Plus, I'm hoping that's what would happen in real life, except John Jones is ducking Gustafson, so, you know, it is what it is. One of the neat things about this is that there seems to be a little bit more ragdoll control on knockouts. In THQ's games, if you see one knockout, you've probably seen them all, to be honest with you. There's not much variation. But, as I was saying, the control scheme seems very reminiscent of the THQ games, except for the fact that the blocking mechanism is allocated to the right trigger, R2 or the right trigger, depending on what console you're using. I'm using the PlayStation 4, which I'm using to, you know capture this footage because I'm too cheap to buy an actual PVR. Anyway, yeah, you see, you, you can see I can bust out so many things and there goes Jones down on the floor. I haven't figured out how to capitalize on that kind of stuff just yet, which is disappointing, but it's early days yet. Um, and I'm still finding it very hard to determine where the block button is because I'm still so used to using the right shoulder and trigger buttons to block, you know. And there goes Jones down once again. He is getting owned. One neat thing that I'm, I can't remember if it was in the first fight on this video or not, or if it's coming up, but you can do the cage run up like you could see in the uh, EA trailer which debuted at E3 last year and it was just I, I like doing it but I haven't figured out how to actually let him kick Jones's head off there it is there it is and Gustafsson goes down <laughs> he jumped off the cage did jack shit and got knocked the fuck out God damn, I was hoping that wasn't going to be in this video, but there you go. That's what I get for not doing quality control. <laughs> Fuck. 
So far I'm enjoying this game, there's still a little bit of a learning curve despite the fact that I've gone through the tutorials and passed all of the lessons in there. I still need to have more of a hands-on gaming experience with UFC which I might do on a live stream sometime soon. But as of right now, check out EA UFC coming out next week, Tuesday in America, Friday in Europe. Just buy it. Looks like a fun game. And also, Michael Manor, I'm coming for you. Coming to get you, buddy.